Hello and welcome to the Mike Carney Toyota 2014 Hot Rock 8 being held at the Ross Dam Townsville. A record number of riders faced the starter. The Le Mans style start, coupled with a short start loop, allowed the field to spread out a bit before hitting the trail proper. Ominous clouds on the horizon didn't deter the riders as they were soon into single file on the single track. The trail was forever changing from forest to gravel and back to the forest of jet stream. Soon we were at the mud holes and riders displayed different techniques to cross them. There was slow and steady around the outside. There was charging right in, go as fast as you can. There are those who chose to fly over the top, and some who just fell right in. So how does the rider choose their preferred technique? I stuck it both times last time. Fair enough too. Of course there's always a friendly marshal from the Rural Fire Service on hand to help you out if you need it. While it's a good thing there were no fires to put out, they did help out, pointing riders in the right direction at all the major intersections. Meanwhile, back at the event village, there is a steady stream of riders coming in at the end of their first lap. The kids are getting a real workout on the jumping castle, and the food tents start to draw a crowd. One of the regular features of this event is the dam wall. It's a climb on the way out, but it's all downhill on the way back. This year, timing is being recorded electronically. Riders wear a transponder on their ankle, and as they cross these blue mats, their lap time is recorded. That made the rider changes a team effort as teams swap the transponder over as fast as they could. The stick your leg out, drop your bike and walk away is uh, demonstrated by the SBD team, who rode in a team of three and came third in class. This technique, the cross-legged kick, is demonstrated by the Dust Eaters, a team of four competing in the corporate challenge. They came fifth in class. Sometimes your team member will even give you a push start. So how did the teams go in their race? Bike 61 is Robert Smythe. He rode in the Supermaster category, completed 10 laps and came third in class. Bike 238 was in the Go Hoi team. They competed in the team of two mixed. They came uh, seventh in class, completing nine laps. Bike 19 is Malcolm Lindsay. Malcolm rode in the male masters category, completed 11 laps and came fifth in class. The category team of two mixed was won by bike 244 Team Tennies. They completed 13 laps. Jason Curtis, bike 34, rode in the male open category. He came fourth in class, completing 11 laps. Competing in the veteran male category, Nigel Stacy, riding bike 88, came 12th in class, completing 10 laps. Bike 237, riding for the Cycle de V team. They were riding in the Team of Two Mixed category and came second in class. They completed 12 laps in the eight hours. The veteran female category was won by rider Leslie Sutton on Bike 70. She completed 11 laps in eight hours. Bike 417 was from the Run and Ride team. They competed in the Team of Three category and they completed 11 laps in the eight hours. This is Gary Gers, Bike 403 from the HSIA Bikers team. They competed in the Team of Four corporate category and completed 10 laps. Here Gary shows us another variation of the uh, how to swap your transponder in a rider change. Bike 4 is Susanna Darcy. 
Susanna Road in the female masters category. She came sixth in class, completing five laps. Rider Alex Tilly on bike 40 competed in the open male category. He came seventh in class and completed seven laps. Bike 406 is Tracy Waters from one of the My Masur teams. My Masur entered multiple teams in the corporate category. The teams consisted of work colleagues and family members and here they are in formation finish at the end of the race. Well that's all the racing. It's time to clean the bikes and have a rest and get ready for the next race. Cheers.